Hello and welcome to Fat Boss Bite Size. Today we're going to be taking a bite out of the Neltharian's Lair 5-man dungeon on Mythic. This video is going to assume that you know the rules of 5-man dungeons such as don't stand in the fire, interrupt ads when you can, dispel harmful debuffs off your allies, that kind of thing. So we're going to go straight into it and cover the key trash abilities as well as all of the bosses that you will find in Neltharian's Lair on Mythic difficulties and below. Kicking it straight off with the first pack, when killing the Vile Shard Crawler ads, try to kill them all off at once to keep the goo that they leave in one big lump. Once you head a little bit further up, you can actually skip the two big rock people by swimming through the water to the left, up to the part just before the waterfall. Once you cleared out those ads, you can jump down and you will reach the first boss, Rock Mora. Tank, during this encounter, face the boss away from the group for the Razor Shards ability. You can also sidestep this ability once the cast begins. Everyone, after the shatter, stand still whilst the goo is on the ground to avoid taking extra damage. Throughout the encounter, everyone should be relatively close to the boss to help group up and kill off any of the small adds that spawn throughout the fight. Try your best to also make sure that there are no adds alive when Shatter is cast, otherwise they will explode dealing a little bit of extra damage to the group. After killing Rock Mora, head into the barrels and pretend that you're in that bit from the Hobbit movie. Once you land, head towards the right hand side and try and pull as little trash as possible. Whilst you're here, do not aggro the drummers, as they will try and summon even more ads for you to deal with. If you do accidentally pull one, CC them and kill them as soon as you possibly can. Tank, during this trash, face the might stone breakers away from the group due to a frontal line attack, and everyone should try and kill the pelters as soon as possible, as the jagged discs bounce around and they hurt quite a lot. Also interrupt the stone gauge from the Nasher Basilisk mobs, as it will stun a player for 5 seconds. You also want to face the hulks away from the group for the piercing shards, and before pulling the next boss, clear the entire room of trash so you don't accidentally pull them during the encounter. Next up is Ulrog Crag Shaper. Tank during this fight, use active mitigation on the Sundercast, and everyone you want to move out of the hands that form around you. I learned that the hard way. Also, when the totems spawn, switch to them right away and kill them off to reduce the amount of AoE damage going out onto the group. During the stance of the mountain phase, try and follow which idol the boss is hiding in and kill it when it comes to a stop. If you do make the wrong choice, you will just have to keep killing them until the boss comes out. Just be quick as the group will be taking a large amount of damage during this time. Moving along, you can hug the left wall to avoid the trash that are racing snails. And on the next trash, focus down the grubs to stop them from metamorphing into harder trash mobs. These grubs can be stunned to interrupt the transformation. After you clear out the arena, get ready to fight the next boss which is Naraxus. Everyone, avoid the green pools that are spewed out by the boss as much as you possibly can. DPS, make sure that you kill off the Worm Speaker Devout ads straight away. Melee DPS should even leave the boss and run over to the ads to help kill them off. This is because if they do reach the boss, she will gain a 50% damage increase for the rest of the encounter and nobody wants that. You also want to place the Rancid Moor pools around the center of the room and after they're placed there, move out of them. Melee DPS, you also want to make sure that you do not go behind the boss as you will line a sight your healer. Generally speaking, the positioning you want to have is that the tank's on one side of the boss at the front and the melee DPS on the other side of the boss at the front. Now tank, when the spike tongue is being cast, run as far away from the boss as you possibly can. And if you can have some rancid more pulls between you and the boss, it will help slow down the pull. Alternatively, you can just hide in this spot and just not be pulled in at all. This is cheesy as fuck and if it does change, there will be a note in the description below. Now once you reach the large room after Naraxxus, you can skip a large portion of the trash by hugging the right hand wall and going behind the inactive mobs. Once you get to the large magma area, you just want to clear the one trash pack on the right hand side. This alone will leave you enough space to fight the boss in. When fighting this trash, do try and focus down the big scorpion as it is dealing quite a large amount of damage to both the tank and the group. The last boss is Dark Rule. Tanks, make sure you pull him into the corner of the room and face your back against the wall. This will help keep you in place when knocked back by the landslide ability. You also need to make sure that you use active mitigation during the Molten Crash ability, otherwise you'll take more damage and be knocked back again. On top of this, try not to move the boss very often, as each step he takes does deal a very small amount of damage to the entire group. For the DPS, make sure that you CC and kill off that Molten Char skin ad as soon as you possibly can. He is a huge pain in the ass and he does do a ton of damage, just get him out of the encounter ASAP. Also, make sure that you move from the Crystal Spikes. As the tank, when the Crystal Spikes wall has formed, move the boss away from it a little bit if it has spawned in melee, and overall just make sure that the landslide ability never hits it, otherwise the spikes will be destroyed. This is an issue because when the boss channels Magma Wave, you need to hide behind the wall that is created by these Crystal Spikes. Everyone needs to do this, otherwise you're going to die. After that cast, a large magma pool will form underneath the boss, and you may need to move the boss to a new position further down the wall just to avoid this. But that's it, just kill the boss and enjoy your loot. 
Thank you so much for watching. If this video did help you out, support us by throwing a like on it or support us further by heading over to our Patreon. See you next time.